Hi there, if you are having a few hassles when filtering, let's see if I can give you a hand to get that filter working again. Hey, I'm Sharon from Excel at Work, where we offer straightforward, non-technical assistance to help you become a confident, super productive user of Microsoft Office. In this video, I'm going to run through my top filter troubleshooting tips. I've helped so many people become super proficient users of Excel, and I know that most times one of these tips will get you going again quickly. And make sure you stick around for an additional tip that explains something you really should keep your eye on when you're filtering, something that could potentially stuff up your filtering too. Hey, and please dive into the comments below and share which one of these tips helped you out the most. Okay, let's see if I can find the problem that is um, causing your filter not to work as you're expecting it to work. Now, first of all, the number one thing that I see people get very, very wrong uh, when they are filtering, if I just kind of come down and show you this data, um, is where they forget to select everything that needs to be included in the filter. And if you can see here, we've got uh, row 37 and row 42 are blank. And if I just come up a little bit, and come to the top of the table here. I'm just going to turn filter on and then let's just go and quick do, quickly do a filter maybe on the region here and if I just whip down and maybe grab central. There you go. So you can see that the filter is actually only uh, been produced or actually taken in the data that was in adjacent cells at the top of the data list. It didn't actually include anything under that first blank row. So that's the number one thing I want to check, okay? I want you to go and check to make sure that you have actually included all of your data or included all of your data. So if I now go and clear that, and I'll just turn filtering off actually, um, and I'm now going to just go to the top left hand corner of the table and make my way down to the bottom. And I'm just using shift click on the very bottom right hand cell to select everything. Um, popping filter back on and now let's see what happens. If I go back to region and grab central now, look at that. So everything is now included, including those blank rows. So just keep that um, is the number one thing to check, okay? Because that seems to be the one that most people forget. Right, on to number two. So, as you can see, one or two of these columns have been merged uh, with a merged heading between column E and F here. Now, don't get me wrong, I love merged headings. I think they're fantastic. However, um, they can cause problems when you're filtering because if I just click on the little drop down here, you're only going to see um, the filter option available for white wine, not for the columns dry and medium. So what I would suggest is please unmerge any merged uh, columns uh, that have got one heading and give each column its own heading. So this is what I would probably do here. I'd probably remove the filter, maybe move this up and move these two up. And of course, there's no longer any reason that we have that um, second row there. By the way, try very hard to make sure that um, your column headings are just on one row. That will save you a lot of hassles, okay? Now, if I go and select, um, again, I'm just doing, doing that shift click down on the bottom um, corner there, just a nice quick way to do it, and turn filter on. And now, look, I can filter on dry and I can filter on medium. So that might be another one for you to quickly go and check, along with merged rows, okay? So that could cause you a bit of a problem as well. You know, merged headings are fine. Keep them out of the data area though, but merged rows, check this out. So I'm just gonna go and pop some color on these first three um, products in row six, seven, and eight. Right, now that I've done that, I'm just going to whip over to here, and of course I'm just going to go and do a filter um, based on the 15th of June. So if I just come in here and just type 15, and there's 15th of June, lovely, click on OK, and look, it's only got one product showing. And I'll just explain why, because this can uh, actually be really scary, because if you're filtering um, and you're not picking up on the data that's in there, that could just be yucky. So uh, let me just go and clear that filter, and there we go. You can actually see that each one of those, it was actually only showing us one of those rows. So if I now go and unmerge it up the very top here, 
now look at that the row that it was showing us that um, date is actually only living in row six and that's the reason why so I, was, I would suggest please make sure you don't have ro um, merged rows as well I would just copy that down of course as you know you can actually copy your cells rather than fill them um, and there you go so just keep an eye out for that as well okay and I'll just go and take that color off so it doesn't confuse you as we keep on going so I'm hoping by now it's actually fixed something if we if you need to keep going we'll we'll keep going um, so here's number three so number three is please make sure that you don't have hidden rows okay so if I just come across here and maybe if I just hide um, actually what I'll do is I'll just call this something else so I'll just call it donkey okay um, and then I'm just going to hide that row so I'll just go and hide it okay so if I now go onto the range and click you'll see there's no donkey <laughs> so if you've got a missing donkey it could be that unfortunately you've got hidden rows so if you're expecting the data to be in there just be really, really careful um, you might find that probably it would be a good idea to unhide any rows um, and then of course you will be able to see the information there it is there look if I now go and have a look there's donkey so that could be another reason that your data actually isn't showing. Okay, here's um, one that I don't know how you'd actually know this unless somebody told you this. Um, but if I just come across to, well, I'm just going to come down. You can see that we've got an error in this column here, in the medium white wine column. Um, it's got a hashtag value and you're probably aware of the fact that if you have a hashtag value normally what's happening is inside of the formula text or a cell that's holding text is actually being referenced. So if I just come up um, and... I'm going to go up to medium I'm going to come down to number filters and I'm going to start using this top 10 option and this is this is the same if you're using above and below average as well so if, what what should happen is if I click on OK I will get the top 10 uh, records up the very top or showing up the top here now unfortunately it hasn't worked but as soon as I do this if I just can show you if I scroll to the bottom of the list look at that can you see it's actually showing I've got an error now watch this if I actually come and go down to where the error is I'll grab that and I'm going to fix the error so at the moment it's actually going C10 multiplied by 10% so let's say this formula is actually meant to be um, it's actually meant to be E26 multiplied by 10% so I'm just making this up <laughs> but all of a sudden we actually have a figure in there instead of, of a an error so if I now come and um, use actually I'll just clear that off so you can see that the error is gone yay um, and then what we'll do is we'll just make our way back to that top 10 and okay look at that so that's something to be very wary of and as I said to you before it will work um, that kind of thing, the, the error will stop the top 10, the above average and the below average. So that may have helped you and um, sorted your problem as well, I'm hoping. So the other thing or another thing to, to check is please make sure that you aren't looking at data that actually already has filters on it. So if you're actually looking at data that's already filtered or has filters on it, you will see little filter um, symbols up the very top here. Now if the data is off the screen, all the way off the screen, sometimes it's very hard to actually see the filters that are on. So that's why, and you might have seen me using this before, that's why I like this button up here clear the filter and sort state for the current data range so if I click onto that it brings everything back and of course if you don't see white uh, sorry white if you don't see blue um, numbers down the side here then you know that you are actually seeing everything and of course if you did have a filter on it would show you the filter number down here not sure if you've ever noticed that before but if I actually just go and show you there you go blue number and it's actually showing you the number of records found down here and there you go you've got your little filter on here so doing a clear can sometimes get you right back to the start again and you can see all of your data and that may help you as well so I really hope that one of these tips has fixed your problem straight away just remember check you have selected all of the data keep your column headings to one row and unmerge any merged cells Make sure your data doesn't have any errors in it, that's always a gotcha, and check other filters are turned off. Now that you've got a good idea of what to look for to get your filter back on track, here's my additional super helpful tip to you. 
Right, for the last couple of gotchas that I want to uh, go through with you, these are the things that you kind of find out when you ask somebody else in the office and they go, oh yeah, I've done that before. So I just want to show you, I'm just going to quickly put another sheet in here. Um, there's something called grouping and you might have done this before, we can actually group multiple sheets together and so if I just go select all sheets you'll see both of them are actually selected now and people do this so that you can print um, you know, can print all the sheets at the same time you can update them at the same time but that if you've actually got grouping on can you see group up the very top here and your filter will not be able to be selected so that could be something to just watch out for make sure if you've opened a share, shared file that somebody else has been working in um, come down here right click ungroup and look now your filter will actually be available for you to use so if you're experiencing the old grayed out button just check that for me okay okay now the last thing I want to share with you is a bit quirky and um, certainly something that I'm hoping will be helpful to you if you're fi uh, finding or having a bit of a difficulty in this area so I'm just going to change this figure here to 32,000 and I'll come down a couple of rows and I'll do the same put the same amount in there now um, as you can see 32,000 so if I come up here and I do a search nothing absolutely nothing so you can go okay well let's go to number filter equals 32,000 and again nothing and you're like what <laughs> so if I come into number filters equals and I actually type it with the formatting look at this ta-da how about that so if you are having a bit of a problem in a certain area and it does it the same or with numbers or um, even with dates so you can see that we've got the 15th of the 6th 2019 in there so if I come into here and I go equals and I do my 15th of June get it because it's actually formatted that way but if I go into here and I go equals 15 06 19 nothing so just keep an eye out for that okay so that can be a real gotcha and have you kind of scratching your head going what is going on here so I'll just clear that and I'm hoping that one of those things that I've just uh, shared with you has got you back on track and back working again. So let me know in the comments uh, which one had helped you out and if anything helped you out. And look, hey, if you are somebody that's been using filtering for a while, remember that a lot of people that are watching this are just starting out. They're just beginning with Excel. So if there's any tips or hints that you'd like to give them um, over and above what I've actually shown here, I'd love for you to share with them. So anything that you think is helpful, pop it down below and help them out. Hey look, I really hope this has been helpful, so please let me know in the comments below if it fixed your problem. And if you use Excel and want to stay connected, just hit that like button and please make sure that you subscribe because we're sharing new videos regularly. And if you know someone who would benefit from this help, please be sure to share this video with them. Hey, thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.